never satisfied, always on the rise Looking for a reason just to close my eyes Man, I'm, man, I'm tired, I don't wanna try But I gotta try, who gon' get it if it isn't I? And I'm always high, I'm supposed to fly Me, I'm full of life, I don't wanna die I can't even lie, even when I try Never pans out, I'm an honest guy Fully occupied, life my life a prison Bars on top of bars, but I'm never drinking Hey, can't let anything affect my way of thinking Kept my circle small, and it keeps on shrinking Keep my way too strong, everybody's sinking Hi and welcome to another section of Jeff the Master Barber In this edition I'm, I'm going to be using the new trimmer Bevel And um, we're going to be doing a tight, tight fade on the side The top, we're going to leave the top the way uh, That's why everything the, I'm doing is what the client asked me in the first place Make sure you do the same thing when your client asks you for something uh, To do something, make sure you, you, tr you give everything that he says to do um, unless he tell you or oh, do whatever you want to do, then you give him whatever. This trimmer right here, Bevel, the trimmer Bevel is awesome. I've been using already for a week and a half and it's definitely, uh, I used to use the magic clip with the blade bolting, but this one, this trimmer is like the biggest trimmer out there, but it's actually feels good in your hand. It, it, it goes, it cleans really good. You could uh, adjust it or calibrate it um, is detachable blade also I'm gonna be using the magic clip I mean uh, the baby bliss with the magic clip uh, blade as you could see you see the top blade and the bottom blade is also from magic clip and um, yeah uh, this is my what third week using this uh, clipper and I only have to say nothing but good stuff about this this uh, clipper right now we're using level open uh, it has a, a five position uh, on the level so you know you would definitely will know every click is it has like five five clicks completely closed and completely open it, it, it will be completely closed it would be click number one and completely open it be uh, position number five right now we're using guard uh, the 116 with the level open and um, yes the reason why I, Jeffrey how come you you switch the, the blade on it well the reason why I switched the blade on it is because the magic clip the it has six the top one the one that the moves it has uh, 60 teeth compared to the factory one it has like 20 24 I think and then the bottom one is completely nice and flat we're using right now guard number one level open and we're gonna pass it in that area right there and um, yeah, so the the bottom blade is uh, from the magic clip is is to me is way better to do uh, fades. You know what I mean? To definitely to do the blend in. I apologize if the camera at uh, times uh, goes out of focus. I forgot that I had it in auto instead of having a manual. But then I, I, later on I will realize it and, and then I fix the problem. But in the meanwhile, we're still using guard number one. Uh, now we uh, level. I think it's four yeah you know it's not not completely well I think it's level two my bad uh, Jeffrey does the level the position the five position um, of the level really matters it really does man it, it definitely is more precise definitely you will know exactly um, and it's something that it's not it, it doesn't get stuck but it's you could easily move the level still Right now we're using uh, the guard speed zero uh, guide. It's called, and this one is the number two. And uh, anything that you see in in this video, I'm gonna have uh, below this um, below this video on the description. I'm gonna have the links where you could get it at. So far, the the this clipper they don't have it in Amazon, but the minute that they have it in Amazon, I will leave the link. Uh, where you could get it uh, I know I'm sure that they, they're selling it on eBay if you're interested uh, they're selling it on eBay it goes from roughly 179 to uh, some occasions 220 uh, but it's worth it's worth every penny or uh, what I like uh, right now we're using the 116 level completely closed and I'm going in that area so what I like about it so far the engine definitely not because it's Ferrari alone but definitely the power how smooth how quiet how solid 
uh, the ergonomics, the, the style of this clipper is so comfortable. It may look big, but trust me, it doesn't feel the way it looks. And um, and if it looks real fancy, definitely this one, it, it, it definitely, it, if it looks good, it's because it is good. And um, so definitely uh, I, I recommend this, this clipper. Uh, also, the way how you turn it on and turn it off. The button right there where my thumb is right there is beautiful the five position uh that's awesome too uh it has a light that let you know um when it's getting when it needs to be charged it stopped blinking and that's it's just beautiful you know what i mean just to let it, it give you a warning so it's 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 starting to be like a, a smart clipper <laughs> you know what i mean and uh you know right now i'm not using no guards and i think i'm in level three yeah level three and um yeah definitely uh, i recommend i recommend this uh this clipper this clipper is is awesome and also this trimmer uh can set enough what i like about it detachable blade you could calibrate the blade right there with no no screwdriver uh runs more I charge it for over the night and for the I could cut the whole day without charging it. Uh, and also, also the blade doesn't get hot like the other trimmers. Uh, it's not so loud. It is a little big, big, and, uh, big, but it's still is is it's still handled. You could handle it right. You know what I mean? It's no problem. Uh, the way it fits in the bottom or, in, or near the um, the uncomfortable places is just perfect smooth um and definitely the shaver the electric shaver baby bliss by baby bliss awesome it already is going now it is my number one right now out of the series nine and andy shaver this is my number one right now the reason why it is because it's is very it's it shaved so smooth the clients could tell the difference uh it's not too loud is solid and it lasts three hour charge i mean more than three hour charge it, it, it's unbelievable with the what it is the, the trimmer bevel and this shaver and um it has the most longer charge uh three hours and four hours for the trimmer but this one for the shaver three hours charge also the light in the bottom will blink when it's almost running out out of charge when you need to charge it it will blink and and you can see it is so it is baby bliss is definitely doing the thing right now i'm using the oyster uh scissors over comb and i got a light um comb so that way i could see the dark hair going through it and this comb particularly is very thin and and, and slim and and it's more easy to do the technique of uh scissors over, over comb I'm using the nitrogen mechanic gloves also and um yeah definitely um i recommend uh this pair of scissors they're very comfortable very sharp you could get it at sally's you could get it at amazon ebay or any beauty supply near you um and this one out of the six inch i uh, notice i'm using the big teeth the big teeth of the of the combs is to get like the you know when it has a lot of volume or a lot of hair bulky a lot of bulky nets of hair and then if i can't grab the the bottom or like if i need to go really really tight on the bottom then i use the i use the small teeth uh also i use them when i'm shaving so i can scrape whatever hair that gets stuck in a stick in the in the skull or in the face and and etc etc once again this trimmer is unbelievable uh the more i use it the more i'm i'm falling in love with it i mean I have the TL liner uh, Andy Colis, which is good too. But this one, the blade doesn't get hot, um, and this one lasts longer charge. And this one, you could calibrate it uh, to whatever easily, very easily, without you needing no screwdriver. You just the, the detachable blade. You just detach it. With your thumb and then with your thumb you could it has like a clockwise that you will adjust it how you how you like it once again uh we're about to use we're using the baby bliss 
level open half we're gonna be doing the same thing that we did in the in the other in the other side and um the reason why i like to make my videos long is because i explain a little bit of everything not only just the haircut but i, I explain about the machines and i try to go in details on, on how, how i feel about uh the clipper and, and you know my english is not the best i'm aware of it but i try to you know give the best that i can still you know for the ones that understand me regardless and that's why i do it for right now we're using the 116 level open and i'm passing it uh when you pass it it's basically like having a c motion like scraping it you know what i mean like you know feathering out you know like lifting it when you go to the top uh to the top area where i was passing it uh right there is level position five with the 116. later on uh the more people start noticing and and, and really checking this machine and trying it out they're gonna understand what i'm saying right now i'm going to the, use the guard number one with the level open completely open which is level uh position level five you know and we're gonna pass it exactly where i'm passing it from right to left left to right right and that area right there i see some shadows and i'm going you know my stroke is is a little bit different it's more longer slower because i want to just you know do it little by little I don't want to rush it. I don't want to see some long strokes. Uh, just make sure just to grab. And if I feel that it's not not grabbing, then I go to the next level. And if not, I go to the next uh, guard to feel more safe. And that's what I just did right now. I'm using guard number two, and uh, and I'm passing it in that area. Level completely open at this point is level five. Uh, when I say level five, is open guard or, or the open level. And uh, right now it's uh, completely closed, but I'm notice that I'm lower. Now I'm going higher, so I completely open it and notice my long stroke, and uh, slowly, and and <coughs> I stay. Excuse me, I stayed in that area, but notice how the blending is coming. You know what I mean? Remember, it's not just one once. You know, uh, flip. You gotta keep flipping it. You know, you gotta keep. You know, passing it. A lot of times keep switching guards make sure you you keep uh, checking uh, you, you know pay attention what the inner voice will tell you look I see some shadow right here I see some line okay it's not grabbing it you have to go lower and whatever the, the, the voice in voice tell you you gotta put it into action you gotta listen obey and, and then you know uh, uh, something attack it you know what I mean like get it like do it you know what i mean and and not just okay if, if if it's telling you what to do and you don't do it that's a totally different the real the real difference is when you really even if you're not sure that inner voice is gonna tell you okay you're using the 116 okay open it right there a little bit and then you do it that's working together and that and then you're gonna see the 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 action and you're gonna see that is gonna work that you're gonna see that oh actually it did you know so there's gonna be you know it's gonna it's gonna take time sometimes to develop that to listen to that voice and obey it and and not just obey it, but put it to practice to put it to action put it to use but once it does it's just unbelievable like right now i'm using no guard uh level open and then we're gonna pass it right on top of the line then i went level four uh then level three and I'm going in in that area. Then I open it again, level four, and I maintain right in the line. I don't go higher. I just stay right there. You understand what I'm saying? I stay right there. Uh, I normally don't like to work with glove, but uh, hair lately they've been getting stuck between my fingers, and then, you know how that goes. If you don't take it out, if you don't wear no gloves, they're gonna keep getting more stuck, and I don't want to get infected or anything. No offense by no one. It just that's why uh, I use the gloves here and there. Not all other times. I, I would like I would like not to use it. The reason why because they incom I, I don't feel comfortable. Uh, I cannot grab the clippers or the or my pro or my my tools the way that I want to. But I feel actually safe at the same time, which is you know sound like I'm contradicting myself, but but it ain't. It's just the honest truth. Like I said, I cannot talk 
uh, bad about this, anything bad about this trimmer. If anything, the delay. Uh, you have to order through the company Bebel, get it bebel.com or something. And this shaver, electric shaver, man oh man. It's so good that you can pass Series 9, uh, the Broom Series 9, and still you pass this machine after you pass Series 9, and you can still hear the ch -ch -ch, the hair getting really taken even lower, like scraping it really nice. And um, it's quieter. It's uh, uh, the, the way how the battery, the when the battery is about to die, it lets you know it stops blinking the light. <coughs> Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. <clears throat> and yes, I, 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 I'm the type of person that I'm very real. You know what I mean? I, I could have edited the, ble the the sneeze or anything, but I'm just keeping it real. You know what I mean? I'm going with the flow. If I stop and redo it, I missed what I'm trying. When I was trying to say that, when I was saying. So, yeah, the the electric shaver is awesome. It, uh, it lets you know when the battery is about to die. Same thing with this machine, the Baby Bliss uh, Clipper, right on top of the, the the button. It will let you know the light stop blinking when it's completely charged. It will stay completely blue. Uh, when it's charging, it, it, it still blinks. Uh, and definitely, uh, the Apple Watch, in case if any message or whatever for a barber, is very convenient. Very, it, it's, it's very, very convenient. Um, notice that I'm doing the scissors over comb again and I'm using the big teeth and using the oysters. You could use whatever scissors that you have, uh, whatever you have is good. You know, don't let anybody tell you, oh no, you gotta have this, you gotta that, you gotta do it like this. I never claim the my weight is the only way, like I said in other videos, and I still claim it. You know what I mean? If you feel comfortable with how you do it, keep doing what you do. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not, if that works for you, God bless you, man. Keep doing your thing and, and wish you nothing but the best. And, uh, but yeah, I do this just to let you know how I do my thing. And, uh, through the years, you know, I, 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 some of the skills I developed myself, uh, some other, uh, just looking at other barbers and, um, and you know, if there's anybody out there that, that never cut hair and want to learn or want to you know try it out or have an idea how to grab the, the clippers the cards the, whatever it is then you know that's that's why i do it but i'm not saying that i'm the best but i'm not the worst it's always going to be someone better than you and someone worse than you just you do try to do the best like if it was god or jesus christ sitting in your chair or even yourself you know you don't if it was you sitting down you would try to make sure that it's you come out super fresh so you give you all so you know right now we're doing in the back the same thing that we did uh, on the sides on both sides jeffrey how come you did it like that one side and the other side in the back i switch it up I, sometimes i do it work from one side and then to the back and then to the other side and then one side or maybe the other side and finishing the back side just to s switch it up just so i don't get bored and um plus i'm recording and i'm doing it by section so when i uh, put the camera to and that's one another thing you know is is i have to make sure that the lens is focusing on the on the haircut uh that i have a great angle uh and i gotta make sure that the battery and the camera is recording that i have enough space that you know so many things that i gotta be aware that it's gonna take me a little longer to uh to do the haircut and everything and plus on top of it i gotta edit it once i edit it i gotta you know put my voice in it then i gotta make sure that it's up uploading to youtube and you know it's it, it's okay but it's just you know there's a lot of work that goes into it you know uh oh jeffrey i know people they cut faster than you well god bless them god bless you you know i'm not in a on a on a competition i'm not in a tournament i'm you know my clients i go by quality they know my most of my clients have been with me 20 15 10 years and and they come back weekly or every two weeks or even monthly and and uh they're already used to it to the time that i normally spend on them sometimes i, I could do haircut a lot quicker than another it all depends on the styles and whatnot but i don't try to rush i try to just you know i try to go, go to on a good speed you know what i mean 
30 to 45 minutes but if it takes me one hour it is what it is i'm not gonna uh i'm not gonna you know do something in a rush and it's not gonna come out right uh definitely you know the client will understand you know i want to make sure it's right sometimes you know i ask permission every every client hey you don't mind if i record you you know it's gonna take a little longer than usual but if you allow me that's up to you and they say go ahead definitely you know so you know that's for everything that's a little bit for everybody you know if you want to be a, a a quick barber that just want to cut like three four haircuts in one hour hey go for it you know no problem but me i like to personally take my time and do it right now like taking my time like three hours definitely not like that but you know one hour one hour and 15 minutes 30 to 45 minutes so you know right now i'm using a uh, hairspray it's um a lot not too strong like the pump it up pump it up i like it at times but i like this one too and also this blow dryer the best blow dryer that i have so far why the nozzle is magnetic so it, you, it moves to whatever angle you want it to move and it doesn't come out it stay right on two the the cable doesn't tangle three the sound is supersonic sounds really really good we could have a conversation four it it, it, it really works it does its things it you know when it dry the hair it dries the hair it doesn't burn it you don't smell the burning hair if you leave it in one side uh like have you done with, with other other blow drives and uh fifth you know very small very comfortable in my hand at times I've, I've, i i was like wow i don't i don't, I don't it's very uh flexible very maneuverable who knows maybe from 10 years from now maybe they make this blow dryer cordless or something like that but you know until then i settled for for this blow dryer definitely worth it dyson on uh and this trimmer this is how it look i start right from the middle so i have uh you know uh, exactly the position where it is the hair is overlapping you know it's, don't think that i'm pushing it the hair way back it's just that his hair is long so it's all overlapping and uh this is how normally i always i do his hair if, if you want to see all the videos i have more than a thousand three hundred videos you could go to uh to my videos and and if you go to through it you you to through it you're gonna see that he's in there a couple of times I already done it it's just you know now different camera different machines so yeah uh and uh you see when you use the hair spread it, it really put all the hair nice and flat and then the when you're about to get those those hair they it, it gets like that nice crispy line you know and uh definitely the blade on this on this um bevel is really nice i didn't have a completely uh zero gap uh but i could and it's easy to to adjust um like i said you could use this trimmer for like the whole day and it doesn't get hot at all they definitely um uh, that that has impressed me it really has the the power is completely nice too um and uh the, the detachable blade i find myself using more of this blade than the the small blade just because the corners it, it, you could go through you know in comfortable places uh the black area of the trimmer it, is really it's nice it really it is really nice it's very the ergonomics on this one they really thought about every little thing you know what i mean uh, so it could get in into those uncomfortable places uh they definitely did it right with this with this trimmer i think they it, they really the bus all of us they've been having already for like two years about this trimmer is is definitely some other ones they 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 don't you know there's always someone that is not gonna like it and like i say you know it's cool that doesn't mean they he's wrong or i'm right it's all preference in this world it's all preference you know that's why this you know like i the best analogy that's why there's burger king and mcdonald's that's why there's pepsi and coca-cola you know it's all preference it's what whatever you like you don't necessarily have to like what i do or how i use it or i don't necessarily have to like what you do or what you how you use it but you know 
at the end of the day is what works for me and it was and it's what works for you so keep that in mind but to me i got nothing good things to say so far about this trimmer bevel make sure you know check it out in the link in the below the link in this video i'm gonna leave all the the links of everything that i use for this video and like i say right now i'm just you know going up and down and and the reason why i go you know over and over a lot is because like i said i don't got it completely zero gap it completely zero gap it so because i don't want to irritate the client skill the uh, skin so that's why i left it like that but um yeah definitely it, it will go a lot closer but i don't want my clients to be uncomfortable or, or make or, or leaving them red lines and whatnot but definitely very comfortable and uh it, it really get in in corners that with other trimmers it would have been a little bit more uncomfortable with this one you get in no problem it's like having a pencil it just like like right now is 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 getting those curves right there and then later on with the blade I, I i put in more details you know it may not look like wow my, my trimmer could get it more closer than yours well congratulations god bless i'm i'm happy for you that yours is better than mine but guess what i will get it more close and more better with my blade at the end of the day you see how his eye he's not blinking he's not getting hurt that's what I'm looking. I want to make sure that my client is comfortable. And that's why you want to look, make sure if you are a barber or, or beginner barber or, or want to become a barber, that's one of the things that, that uh, I really, you know, let people know, you know, pay attention to details, pay it, make sure the client is comfortable. They, you know, because once he feels comfortable, you know, it, it, the, the other rest is just, you know, you could probably do a shitty haircut, but if he felt comfortable, he probably is relaxing. And most of the time, they just want to relax while they get a haircut, even if the haircut doesn't come out that that good. But only that client would know. You know what I mean? Also, don't feel discouraged if he, you know, if he give you a first time, you cut your head, you cut his hair, and he don't like it, and then he don't come back. Don't worry. There's all the more clients in this world. They will do appreciate you and you will probably they will they will find you that you are the best for them you know it just you can't please the whole world no everybody's gonna like you no everybody's gonna think that you're right so you gotta understand once you understand that and you move you move forward trust me that's when you really start living the real life don't try to be other barbers don't try to compare yourself to other barbers because you, you know what i mean it, it just it's just gonna discourage you. you you discourage you you know you don't you don't want to get discouraged you just want to make sure keep moving forward keep pushing forward um i've been doing it i still get criticized uh and like i say i'm not perfect but i'm trying to work every day trying to be the best version that i was even today or yesterday and um yeah i'm right now i'm using the black widow um razor holder definitely very very good razor holder uh shout out to will ocasio for his products i always definitely for the last three years uh, i recommend his product he also does he also has uh pomade he also has sh uh, shears and scissors uh the guy is is definitely putting work and and you could tell by the product uh always stress the skin i'm a i'm a right guy uh I'm a righty, so I use the left hand to stretch the skin and also to hold the the comb. Um, you know, there's always gonna there's times that you're gonna pass the blade and whatnot, and sometimes little pimples that you didn't saw, you're gonna pop up. They're gonna pop up a little bit. Accidents does happen. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Uh, but you know, just try to be as careful as you can. When it happens, don't panic. Just you know, use the neck, uh, the, the little powder neck, and uh, alcohol. Make sure you use gloves uh, if you're gonna touch it or you're gonna clean it. But uh, yeah, right now I'm shaving from top to bottom, and then but then I go from bottom to top. But right now, see from top to bottom, and uh, usually uh, the reason why i got them laying down is i'm a short guy so i want to make sure I'm, I'm able to work comfortable and he's comfortable he's relaxed comfortable you understand what i'm saying right now 
Uh, I forgot once again that I put the, the lens, it was in out of focus. So sometimes it focuses more on, on my on what's closer. In this case, is my, my Apple Watch instead of you know focusing on my on the skin. Uh, but eventually I realized I was not looking because I was paying attention more to the haircut, what I was doing and shaving. And right now I'm using the bevel as a grooming those little hair that stick out and everything and whatnot. So I was focusing more and I was more determined um, on and getting all my attention in, in the client and actually the haircut instead of watching the the camera. Normally, I, I from the beginning, I leave the lens on, on manual where I have to make sure that I, 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 I do it myself. Uh, but for some reason, I left it in auto and as you could tell, but I still put it just so that way you know that I was doing it or that I did that part. And um, that's why I mean, a lot of people, you know, it's good. They show you the 10, 15 minutes, 12 minutes haircut, and that's good. God bless them, and that's cool. If you like that, awesome. I like it sometimes too. But me, my, my, my way of explaining, I like to spread, explain everything. I like to show everything. I like to show the whole procedure, even if you think it's boring. It's just simple. You Right now, you and you too, you could fast forward if you don't like it, or if you feel that it's taking too long, you could fast forward. Or, or, or rewind it, pause it, whatever it is. And if you don't like it, you can go to another channel too. No one is really pulling you there. It's just excuses to to really criticize. You know, you want to exercise your opinion. And it's cool. You're entitled to all your opinion. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm doing this for the ones that do appreciate every second of it. And they really want to know how long and what really it, what really takes you know the whole the whole procedure sometimes it, i'm not gonna lie it's, it's boring to me it's not boring because i love what i do and and the whole how the tra the transition on everything how what it takes what i have to do i just i gotta show people up there you know us barber we put in work and, and there's a lot of stuff that sometimes i feel that you know i'm underpaid but you know i'm willing to to just you know do it still because I love what I do, but I make sure that I charge this time around. I'm charging what my valuable, what I'm spending, what I put in, and the same thing goes for you. As you could tell, now I did focus. I noticed that, uh, you know, I did notice, so I focus now. I have the lens and the camera, everything focusing the way that it's supposed to. And you see, now you could tell the difference. Everything is getting shaved from. Uh, top to bottom and then I went bottom to top but yeah uh, once you have everything nice and clean like you know trim and everything and you put the shaving cream I did use the uh, shaving cream is medicated and it doesn't dry it up that quick and it smell like like mental like winter fresh and um, definitely when you pass the blade it glides so good and it doesn't burn the skin uh, you don't you know most of the time when you pass the blade over and over and over some some clients get irritated or, or why not uh, with this with this cream definitely protect the skin very well I do use the hot towel and everything else but it's just for that service I charge for for that service I, I charge you know and not everybody likes to pay for that service so I keep it basic you know it's still good uh, where I could put the you know the cream the medicated cream and, and you know do whatever I have to do but yeah this is uh, right here I haven't pretty much done I'm using the, the the clipper the baby bliss with the level closed completely and I'm just grooming it and now is the final details you know now the little the things that you do make the bigger things to stand out and uh, yeah all the little hairs that standing out basically with the with the baby bliss uh, clipper I'm just getting it done and uh, yeah uh, you know you're gonna see I'm gonna pass it right there you see that all those little and every little thing that you do is, is just you know whatever you put in is gonna show it's not gonna be with, with the haircut whatever little things that you do and you try to make sure that, that it comes out and you keep putting and putting putting 
it, it's gonna come out so like right now see i'm going over again with the blade right here i put a brand new blade i go over one more time jeffrey what's the ash, those ashes or, or that dust that's the shaming gel dry uh when it's not that it's usually the dry uh, uh dead cell or the dry skin but in this case i know that is the shaving cream and like i said i'm you know i'm going you know final touches here there you know what i mean i put a brand new blade when i don't feel that is is grabbing the hair that i want i switch it up obviously i didn't i edit those things if i would left it the way you know when i'm changing or i'm doing something that definitely you would have been more like bored uh but you know i i do edit i do you know show everything not everything like <laughs> how you how in real real life is like changing the blade every like in my case i go through blades with a client depends especially his hair is really thick so i go through with him probably like four or five blades and that means like you know what i mean like it, it's and then I, I split them in half so that's like twin you know what i mean like do the calculation but the thing is you know you they pay you good they take care of you so i take care of them back i want to make sure they're comfortable and yeah so this is the 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 result you see you can tell the difference you can tell the the blurry fade you could tell the definition you know we left the top normal we just blow dry we did the tight fade we used the bevel we used the baby bliss we used the electric saver this is before the haircut you could tell see uh, I've been cutting X hair for Xavier for and Xavier. Thank you if you're seeing this video. I've been cutting Xavier's hair for wow, like 12 years now. And yeah, definitely. Uh, if you learn anything from it, please leave a comment. Thank you for your time. It's your boy Jeff the Master Barber. And yeah, man, God bless you. Keep in touch. And if you like it, thumbs up. And uh, yeah, subscribe. Share it with your loved ones, and I hope that you get anything out of this. It's your boy Jeff the Master Barber. Peace out.